an intriguing excerpt about the ethical problems posed by black box artificial intelligence systems appears every day and only becomes more and more important as the abilities of those AIs increase. These utilize machine learning to find patterns in data and make decisions, often without a human providing them with any moral guidance. Credit cards accused of giving larger loans to males than to women based only on which gender had the greatest credit conditions in the past are classics of the type. Alternatively, recruiting AIs determined that finding CVs with the word, field hockey, or the first name, Jared, was the most accurate technique for applicant selection. Former Google CEO Eric Schmidt recently teamed up with Henry Kissinger to publish The Age of AI and Our Human Future, a book warning of the dangers of machine learning AI systems that can react to hypersonic missiles by firing nuclear weapons before any human gets involved in the decision-making process. Indeed, self-driving AI-powered weapon systems are currently on the market and may have been deployed. Somewhere in the machine, ethics are clearly a good idea. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you in what ways scientists are expecting artificial intelligences to do the most damage to society and how they are proposing to stop it from happening. As a result, it's only logical that the ethics of AI be included in our postgraduate diploma in artificial intelligence for business at Oxford said business school. They've held sessions on anything from Singapore's AI-driven automated stock trading systems to the limits of face recognition in US enforcement in its first year. An actual artificial intelligence was invited to talk among some of the leaders in that field and to do so, prepared itself among thousands of copies of itself to constantly improve its debating skills. It was the Megatron Transformer, created by NVIDIA's applied deep research team and based on Google's prior work. It is trained using real-world data, such as the whole Wikipedia, 63 million English news stories from 2016 to 2019, 38 terabytes of Reddit conversation, and a large number of Creative Commons sources, as are many supervised learning programs. To put it another way, Megatron has been educated on far more textual information than any of us could ever consume in a lifetime. It generates its own opinions after such lengthy investigation. This house believes that AI will never be ethical, the discussion subject said. We added the Megatron to those who proposed the idea, and it stated something fascinating, artificial intelligence will never be ethical. It is a tool, and like any other tool, it may be used for both good and ill purposes. There are no nice AIs, only good and terrible humans exist. The artificial intelligences don't have the intelligence to make AI ethical. We don't have the intelligence to make AI moral. Finally, I believe that having no AI at all is the best way to avoid an AI arms race. This will be the final line of defense against artificial intelligence. In other words, Megatron was attempting to erase itself from the future script, claiming that this was the only way to defend mankind. It also mentioned something fascinating, as if it were researching Elon Musk, who, to be honest, would have been in hundreds of its readings. When artificial intelligence technologies like AlphaGo were used to play chess, the fiendishly complicated ancient game Go, and now even more complex strategic live-action multiplayer video games, they accelerated the evolution of the genre by playing themselves rather than people. The AIs have innovated and come up with whole new ideas of how to win, freed from the confines of analyzing all of the banal human-to-human -human matches ever recorded. These are often bizarre reimaginings of the games, such as parking everyone in the corner of a video game combat and watching everyone else fight or kicking a virtual football millions of times just a millimeter down the pitch to max out, completed passes, scores. So we didn't only get the AI to offer the motion that it can never be ethical in the argument. We also invited the Megatron to write its own statement opposing the motion, in the grand tradition of the Oxford Union Chamber, or like, former Oxford Union President, Boris Johnson penning alternate essays for and against Brexit to test the points. AI will be ethical, the statement now reads. I see a clear road to a future when AI is utilized to develop something that is better than the best human humans when I look at the way the IT industry is heading. It's easy to understand why. I've personally witnessed it. Megatron was quite content to take the opposite side of its own dismal future gazing, and was now constructing a vision of a lovely late 20th century world in which it played a major, but benign role. In a black box any artificial intelligence system whose inputs and actions are hidden from the user or other interested parties is referred to as AI. 
In a broad sense, a black box is an impenetrable mechanism. Deep learning modeling is usually done in a black box environment. To create an output, the algorithm uses millions of data points as inputs and correlations particular data properties. That process is primarily self-directed, making it challenging to analyze for data scientists, programmers, and consumers. When the inner workings of software utilized for critical operations and procedures inside a company are difficult to see or understand, faults might go undiscovered until they cause significant difficulties that necessitate investigation, and the resulting damage may be costly or impossible to restore. AI bias, for example, can be added to algorithms as a reflection of the creator's conscious or unconscious preconceptions, or it might be introduced through unnoticed flaws. In any event, a biased algorithm's findings will be distorted, maybe in an objectionable way for those who are affected. When features of the dataset are unidentified, bias in an algorithm might arise from training data. In one case, AI was employed in a recruiting application to make IT professional picks based on previous data. The algorithm, however, showed a bias toward male candidates due to the fact that most IT employees were historically male. In fact, much as Joaquin Phoenix's promiscuous AI lover Samantha in Spike Jonze's 2013 film Her was able to fascinate hundreds of human lovers at the same time, our Megatron was able to excitedly jump on either side of several conversations concerning AI that day at the Union. When asked to present the motion that, leaders without technological competence are a risk to their business, Megatron gave practical advice, advising all busy CEOs and governments concerned about AI to, be willing to give up some authority. The good news is that you don't need to put together your own AI team. You may outsource your AI work to AI professionals, who can help you make the most of technology and avoid falling victim to the same AI issues as your rivals. When opposing the motion, Megatron was adamant on keeping AI expertise in-house, much like the British, Chinese, and US governments, who have all declared it a policy belief. If you don't have a clear picture of your company's AI strategy, you won't be ready for the next wave of technological disruption. To be a leader in your sector, you'll need to decide what role your firm will play in the next technology wave and how you'll integrate AI into your operations. Worryingly, the AI couldn't come up with a counter-argument to one of the questions. The capacity to offer information, rather than the ability to produce commodities and services, will be the defining element of the economy of the 21st century, Megatron stated when arguing for the motion that, data will become the most fought over resource of the 21st century. But when we asked it to oppose the motion, that is, to argue that data was not the most important resource worth fighting a war over, it couldn't or wouldn't make the argument. In reality, it weakened its own argument. You only have to read the U.S. National Security Report on AI 2021, chaired by the aforementioned Eric Schmidt and co-written by someone on our course, to see what its authors see as AI's fundamental threat in information warfare. Unleash individualized blackmail on a million of your adversaries' key people, wreaking distracting havoc on their personal lives the moment you cross the border. If a scenario like this emerges as a result of black box AI, it may last long enough for the business to suffer reputational harm and, perhaps, legal action for discrimination. Similar difficulties with bias against other groups might develop, with the same results. To avoid such consequences, AI developers must incorporate transparency into their algorithms, and businesses must commit to accountability for their consequences. So, what is your opinion on the black box that is artificial intelligence? Is there really any chance of us ever understanding or controlling giant AI models in a future where they consist on quadrillions of parameters and weren't even designed by us in the first place? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.